hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sarah albert and if you're new here thanks for stopping by if you're an old subscriber thanks for coming back on today's video i'll be showing you how i achieved this simple makeup look using affordable nigerian products it's a beginner friendly step-by-step -step tutorial so if you want to see how i got this look keep on watching I'm starting by applying a moisturizer. I'm using the Cetaphil moisturizer. It's very affordable. A moisturizer is very necessary before you do your makeup because it will help to hydrate your face and also protect your skin. I'll leave the list of products I'm using for this makeup in the description box with their prices. Next, I would like to go in with a primer. I'm using the Rimmel Stain Matte Mattifying Primer. A primer will help you conceal your pores and make your foundation go on your skin smoothly to also help you have a long lasting makeup so i'm going to apply this primer all over my face and after applying it i'll allow it dry before applying my foundation i'll be using the zikel even true foundation in the shade mocha I'm going to apply this on my face and then spray my Flawless IV Hydrating Mist before I blend it out. For blending, I'll be using a damp beauty sponge. It's very soft. I'll be using this to blend out my foundation. When applying foundation, you want to apply a little amount and then blend out. After applying my foundation, next thing I like to do is to contour. You can use a stick foundation, but I'll be using the dark shade of the Zikel even through the shade Coco on my cheekbone. I'm just going to place a little of this on my cheekbone. I'm also using, going to use it to sculpt my nose and my forehead area. After applying it in these areas, you want to use the same beauty sponge and blend out next I'll be applying my concealer I'm using the second skin the curl concealer in the shade honey and caramel i'll use the lighter shade for the inner corner of my eye my nose and forehead region my chin and i'll be using the darker shade for the outer corner of my eye after applying i'm going to use my blender and blend out the concealer properly it's very necessary you apply your concealer in very little amount because the concealer spreads a lot you don't want to have it all over your face you just want to have it on your highlighted point so now i'm going to blend out and make sure there are no harsh lines you want to take your time and blend this very well After blending, you want to take a powder that is a shade or two lighter than you and set your under eye. So I'm going to be doing that now. You can use your beauty sponge, take a little and then you set your under eye. I'm also going to be setting my forehead and my chin, basically the areas where I used the concealer to help to avoid creasing. So I'm just setting it after that i'm setting the whole of my face i'm setting the rest of my face with a powder that is in my shade next i'm going to use the other part of the beauty blender that is flat and take out that shade 
it's called the highlighter and then i'm going to set my under eye again normally i would call this baking ball as a beginner i would not advise you use much so just use a little to set your under eye also want to apply this on your nose and your forehead your chin just use a little quantity and it to do the work so once you're done applying i want to move to the brow now so i'm going to redraw my brow i'm just using this pulley to arrange it before drawing I'm using this eye pencil and then you want to outline your brow I'm starting from the under and then I'm just outlining and do the same for the top you don't want to make it too much just little strokes will do Once you're done, I'm going to use a flat brush and I'm going to conceal the brow. I'm using a light shade of the concealer for the brow bone area and then for the outer area, I'm using the darker shade and also the darker shade for the rest part of the brow. Once you're done doing this, you want to get a brush that you can use to blend and blend out the concealer now i'm blending out the concealer to get rid of ash lines and i've gone ahead to do my second row now i'm applying the concealer on my eyelid before i apply eyeshadow you can use an eyeshadow primer if you have I'm just blending this out now I'll be using these and those eyeshadow palettes and I'll be using the color coffee brown as my transition color Just patting this down now. Added a little bit of jet to make the outer corner dark and then I blend out. Now I'm going ahead to cut my crease using a flat brush and concealer. You want to take your time for this process. After that, I'll be going in with the shade Nude and I'll just pat this on the part I concealed. I then decided I wanted something bright so I went in with a, a gold pigment and I'm just applying this on my crease. After applying this, I'm also I'm going to go in again with the brown shade just to blend it out properly. Once you finish blending, your eyeshadow is set. Now I'm applying my gel liner. After that, I went ahead to dust off the excess powder from my face. 
want to take your time and dust this off properly you can use your powder shade to dust this off too now i'm going in with the blush I'm using the pink shade and applying it to my cheek and also up upward towards my forehead now i'm just setting my face with the setting spray this process is very important because to help to keep your makeup in place used the mascara and i applied my lash of camera now i'm going in with my highlighter i'm using the zikel glow kit and i'm just applying this to my cheek I'm also applying it to my chin, my nose and my forehead. I'm applying my lip balm now to moisturize my lip. I'm just lining my lip with the eye pencil I used for my brow and then taking a light pink shade from my lipstick palette and applying it after that i decided to tame my brow this part is optional but i always like to do it i actually forgot so i'm just seaming my brow now Popped on some lip gloss and we're done. This is the finished look. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.